Glug, glug. Good morning, gamers. I just woke up. I'm still sick. And, you know, let's just get, let's just, just, just get this over with. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm actually loving this game so far. Um, I almost so forgot where we are. Like ten seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relevant. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you find the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, well, needless to say, this lady was oh. impressed. Oh, <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying... Phenomenon? Who form. uses that word, bro? Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. Nerd. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Oh, is that something we can check so, out now? How does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Ah. Uh, you know what? Honestly... I wasn't sure as much as I don't it, like her, now that I hear it, it does have a nice I'm gonna try my best to so, I guess we should talk about what be less of a B eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you. I love you, Alex. All right, can I play the other character now? Where did I, I, want, go? I want to play Conrad again. What He's fun. We had? I'll go find them. You just relax. <gasps> Hey, you see my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. They're on a boat. How hard can so, it be? Which one is, uh... Ooh. You know, where the magic happens. Hi. What? What do you mean? I just say nothing. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Got them. Wouldn't they be warm right now? Oh, warm? Who, do, who, who likes warm beer? That's disgusting. All right, now that everybody's here, Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Why the plane's out here? Maybe because it fucking crash landed. So, how does it feel to be a man? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. With the camera? Can we, can we check it out? Apparently not. We can just fucking look at it. Okay, there we go. Cute. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh, that's actually super cool. Not gonna lie. Air Rescue Service. Oh. That's actually kind of neat. Oh, it was probably trying to go towards the boat because the guy was... Was, uh, singling, like... The uh, the sailor dude was trying to get help before he got eaten or whatever. Uh, yeah, it seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Then they try to go help, and somehow they got shot down uh, by the pirates? Question mark. Then again, that was still a super old. I don't know what they got shot down by. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh no, not yet. I got distracted. Come on, bro. I was searching stuff. 
Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Oh, okay, okay. Can you guys keep it PG, please? Hey, tiger. We should get back. Right vixen? Here. Who calls him? What? Ah, oh, beers for everyone. No there. Huh. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So, what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination. You think we could get there by tomorrow? It's it probably the boat. If the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking That's about the true. law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. That is you, but you know. Okay. Whatever. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse. The hell was that? Did you see that thing flash? From the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Key of the one track mind. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, That isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute. Are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood. A lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, huh, the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. What the? Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face and then its eyes bulge out and screams <laughs> jesus christ yeah, so gross. Ah, hey, oh, super twist nice <laughs> nice one squire nothing like a fucking jump scare to wake you up 
you have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue, regulatory institutional protocol, subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer <laughs> under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. I wonder if that group's gonna come back. I think they're gonna come back. And it's gonna be dope! That guy's gonna be pissed with the one eye. You don't fuck with people with eyes, okay? People with one eyes are always pissed because they can't see anything. Oh shit! Alright. I told you they're gonna come back. I didn't realize it was gonna happen so quickly. Ah, oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, no. Chill, dog. Ugh. This is creepy. Stab, stab. Oh, shit. Oh! Junior? <gasps> okay. Hi, buddy. He's gonna be really pissed at Conrad. He's the one that threw the money at him. <laughs> Oh, there he is! The guy with the one eye. His name's Junior? <laughs> what a pirate name. <laughs> oh, she... I, I bet she's pissed. Why do you... Why would I... Okay, this is happening really fast. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? I shouldn't have done that. No, 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 let's talk. No, I wanted to talk to her. I don't have much time, God damn it! I sure, I'm sure he has nothing good to say. This chick is the smartest one. No, fuck off. Julia better, uh. She was better have duct tape on her. Julia, you okay? I think so. Ah oh, shit! Look now, now they're gonna be like, oh, what up? Are you not gonna acknowledge the missing duct tape? All right, bye, Fliss. Things are kind of happening pretty fast, Jesus. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of, maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. What are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. Get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. No shit talking mushrooms. No, that's not on time. Let's investigate. Let's let like we seriously don't even know what they want first. They could just wanna scare us. Come back. Uh, 
Oh! Why? Just okay. randomly get punched? I'll be back for you later. Uh oh. Uh oh, Conrad. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. <laughs> oh, I couldn't block that one. Alright. Dope. Ow! God damn! What do you want? What do you fuckers want? Oh shit. Oh no, Conrad. Come on, bro. Shit. Slow down. Easy. I don't know what to do. Please. Just stop, man. If he keeps antagonizing. Yeah. I'm sure. Are they just gonna put me back? Wait, what? That was completely pointless, but... I wonder if I said, fuck you, he would've You're just... Best behavior, little man. Oh, is that the guy I hit? Get off! Get off me! <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, shit, why? What's the point? At least pretend you're... There you go. That's pretty smart. I'm gonna make it my mission to at least keep Conrad alive. The rest of them I really don't k give a shit about. Maybe maybe Brad. I like Brad. And Fliss. These two are just annoying. Bye. Alex! Bye. Yeah, Bye, Julia. You bastards! Hey. He's. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. He's not gonna acknowledge that he's untied. I think they're gonna hit him. <laughs> they're gonna hit oh, that's awesome. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. <laughs> He's not gonna acknowledge. All right. All right. Cool. At least they're dumb enough not not to acknowledge the fact that we're untied, ungagged, ready to fight. They're coming. Where did they get the scissors? Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Hmm. Eight seconds. Storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, uh, he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, 
I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. That's pretty smart, not gonna lie. Oh, are we going to have to? Six. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I messed up. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> sorry, I fricked up. Traits updated? I actually want to see. Foolhardy, guarded, eager, witty, impatient. Reckless. Joke with Conrad. I actually want to check this out. Okay. Okay. That's kind of cool. Oh! Julia had to use the knife to open the cockpit door. Yeah, I wonder how that's going to tie in with that. Because we don't... I wonder if we use the bang stick, she would still have the knife and she could use it right now. Proposal? What's new with that? Okay. When they talked about it later, they were both happy. That fisherman took... Yeah. What's the bends? Do you waited to decompress before surfacing. How is that going to do anything? Maybe if she didn't, it would like injure her or something. And then she'd be like fucked up for the rest of the time. Huh. This is interesting. All right. So far I'm doing okay, I think. Besides that. Oh. All right. We've done this before. Escape, exit, let's just go. Like, it's it's the smart play. You know what? I've had enough. I want you off my boat right now. Get off my damn boat! <laughs> what? Why is he just... <laughs> He's just like standing there taking it. Oh shit! Conrad, my boy! I'm digging it, Conrad. You're you're pretty chill, not gonna lie. Oh shit. Chill. Don't get shot, don't get shot. Oh fuck. Oh ho ho! Ho ho! Ho ho! Catch him with this old junker. Damn. That was pretty cool, not gonna lie. Take this. Use it if you have to. 